The players must feel in a good place after that, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Big performance, big win. Took in an important second half from Motherwell into the game and hopefully just build on from there. I mean, that's the manager said that was top level performance. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you get close to reaching that from here on in, you should be okay? Yeah, we um, we, we don't look too far ahead. Um, we want to try and reach a similar level performance on Sunday, if not better. Obviously, it doesn't always end in a scoreline like that, but certainly we judge ourselves on trying to let it hit similar levels to that in performance and normally results will take care of themselves. You know what it's like Greg, it could just be one game, it could be a moment in a yeah. game that could just change the narrative. Yeah. Do you hope that could have been the other night or even far apart? Yeah, I think it's, it's often the narrative is on the outside, it's not normally within the building. You um, you have to try and avoid that and of course it's difficult with social media and everything that goes on nowadays in football, but the manager's been a big believer is just the group inside the building, we're, we're very together and we uh, we believe in what we do in here and hopefully that normally stands you in good stead and on Wednesday night it did. Sure, but in terms of getting like a 93rd minute, yeah. go at Fir Park and then seven against Dundee, you're yeah, right. exactly. in the group itself you must say, right, OK. Oh, we know, of course, um, when you, it's, you've got 10 league games to go or something along those lines, so of course it is the business end of the season, but we... Um, Right now we we try and just look in hearts because that is the the next game and that's now the most important. Another thing the manager said the other night after the Dundee game, he said the kind of the atmosphere between the supporters and the team and the manager was like it was from the first time he was mm -hmm. around. There was a real unison. Did you feel that on the pitch? You felt it coming off at half time definitely, and of course it, these things work hand in hand in terms of if we divert sorry, deliver the performance, the fans will back us and uh, yeah, but it was bouncing, that going in at half time, obviously 6-0 up it normally is going to be, but yeah, it was a real, um, the fans were in good voice on uh, Wednesday night. How much could that be a big role? Yeah, I think that'll be vital, we, um, I'm saying about being all together in the building, but I definitely include the fans when I mean that, um, when we're, at, we're playing at home, when you've got 60,000 behind you, um, it definitely does... Uh, it does help and obviously it's limited numbers on Sunday at Tynecastle but I'm sure the Celtic fans as they always do will find their voice and hopefully we can deliver the performance that helps them do that. The last couple of games have been a good boost for you as well, you've been delivering assists and yeah. as well and it must be good Yeah, that. it's something I want to always try and add to my game is goals and assists um, but it doesn't always, I think throughout the season there's been probably good chances created from all of us and just at times we've not taken them. Um, and the last couple of games, certainly second half at Motherwell, we knew we had to get the performance and result and then scoring that amount of goals was nice the other night. Did it, I think a few players have mentioned what happened at half time at Motherwell, you, the players maybe took a lot of responsibility and said, you know, we need to just go out here and do it, maybe get rid of the anxiety that the, the manager had spoken about. Did, it, did that feel like that carried over into Wednesday yeah, as well? I think the manager was really big and when you're talking about that at Motherwell, he stayed really calm just spoke us through a few points where we could be better in the game and yeah, took all emotion out of it because it's easy to get kept, get caught up in emotional moments when you're definitely down. You want you, Everyone in the building wants to be successful and tries their hardest every day and every game to try and deliver that for the fans. So, no, I think the manager just said, this is where we can be better in the game and we took that in the second half. Obviously, you get Cameron back from the start as well. You'd, Alistair's been out a wee bit, mm -hmm. you were out a few weeks as well. The feel you're getting the, the, the squad back, a lot of players back, that, that, that can really can prepare you as well. Yeah, um, that's uh, that's uh, of course when players are out, it's opportunities for others, but it definitely does help having a settled team and having people in the rhythm. Players that you spoke about there, Cameron and Alistair, are vital for us, so uh, to have them back involved was, was really good. Greg, how much do you think it will... rephrase that. The players in here that have been there and done it, the course and distance, how much of a role do you think that will play in the running? I hope it plays a big part because we've got good experience within the, the group. Um, the last couple of years has been a real successful time for the, this playing group. Of course it's changed a wee bit this year but you've still got a good core of players in there that know what success means and they know that it's um, what it takes um, and I, I certainly hope that carries us in good stead. Just a few months away from the Euros. Yeah. Well, well, since we asked you about it. I know, exactly. <laughs> How are you feeling about it? Yeah, excited. Um, we'll hopefully uh, be involved in the March games coming up. Um, and then, again, it's just about trying to keep form, keep fitness, and uh, 
hope that you're on the plane to go to Germany because it'll be a, an unbelievable experience for the, the lucky 23 that gets to go. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, all professionals are going to be trying every game, but mm -hmm. you just know there's that added thing waiting at the end. <sighs> yes, you do know it's there because it's inevitable and you mention it today, but it's not something that's right in my mind, if I'm being totally honest, because it's still a fair chunk away and there's a lot of football to be played. So I try and... Uh, Right now, I'll look on Hearts for Celtic because that's the most important, and then we'll see where that takes us at the end of the season.